So when I started school in September, I started working in October. I got a job in October, and I worked till I completed in April. And then after school, I got I got even two full time jobs. Mekai, Madam Fubi, are your friend? Okay, everybody, how are you doing? This is Derek coming to you all the way from Travels by the Derek. So we are fortunate today. We have Valentina, you know, I've been all the way from Ghana is here with us. You know, she's doing a little bit of shopping, but, you know, she decided to take some time off and then, you know, tell us about her experiences, uh, you know, since she came to Canada. So, you know, just follow me. Let's have a very decent conversation with her. Abina, how are you doing? Doing great. Yeah, you just want to say hello to Travels by the Derek's oh, audience. Okay, hi. Yeah, so what are you doing today? I'm just getting a few questions mm -hmm. from the office. Yeah, I like this. The statue. I'm just going to add it to your bill. Are you, are you going to pay? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we try to, you know, educate people, tell people about, you know, your experiences since you came to Canada. So the first oh, thing okay. I'm just going to ask you will be like, how was your visa crisis? Um, did you do it yourself? How did you get your school? You know, somebody might want to know, right? Oh, okay. So just, you know, I mean, tell people your experiences and all that. Yeah, mine was quite simple. I got um, information from a friend and um, I used that to apply for my uh, school application. I got the admission and then I used that to apply for my visa. It was quite simple. I had to apply with all the information they needed and then I got my visa. Oh, excellent. It took some time, but yeah, I got yeah, it then. Excellent. Yeah. So, so now you're a student in Canada. How do you find Canada so far? Like, you know, the information that you had before you came to Canada and your experience in Canada, is it something that, you know, matches? Or? Yeah, so um, coming to Canada, I had my own um, information. When I came here, it's not quite different from what I had. Yeah, so... I think I like it here in Canada. Really? Groceries are not expensive. Yeah. Groceries are not expensive. No, to oh me. Oh my goodness. With what I'm earning she, and what she has money. <laughs> no, Too much not money. that. Too much money. What okay. I'm earning and what I'm spending on groceries. That, trust me, it's way better. Did you hear that? Yeah. She said what she's earning and, you know, compared to what she's able to spend on groceries, it's, it's something that's making sense. Yeah, it's and quite to, good to Ghana and Brown. <laughs> anyway, you know, let's continue the shopping. Okay. I, I just don't want you to... Okay, oh, Shopping, yeah. there will be. Scar back. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, now, you know, you had your visa, everything, you know, done properly. Day and night, different animal. How was the feeling? How did you feel? Trust me, it was so good. I felt so good. I was happy. Yeah, I thank God. Yeah, because it was, it was, yeah, I was so, so happy. Was, was that your first application? Yeah, what, that was my first. And I had doubts because some were saying that I wasn't going to get it. But yeah, trust oh. me, <laughs> I was so happy when I got it. Wow. So, which airline did you use when you were coming? I used KLM. KLM? Yeah. Oh, I love KLM. Thank did you, you like their food? Uh, it was new to me. I didn't really like it. Yeah. So <laughs> did, did you have to go to Montreal or Toronto? I went to uh, Montreal. Montreal. How was the feeling when you landed in like in Canada on the Maple Land? How did you feel? It was like, whoa, I'm finally here. The place is so nice. She's in the Maple Land. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, we're still having a discussion with Abina. So Abina, like, you know, so many people, so many people want to come to Canada. What is your number one advice that you're going to give to each and everybody who is in Africa or who is in Ghana, outside Canada and all that, and then they want to come to uh, you know, Canada? What is your advice as somebody who wants to come to Canada to study and work, sort of, you know? Okay, so to me, coming to Canada, I think you should prepare. 
get enough. Okay. So I think you should prepare, get enough on you. Because Canada enough is, is good. like enough what? Enough it's money, funds. Shika. Make sure you have funds. Like save and make sure you have funds. Because uh, when you yeah. come initially, it's not easy. You have to, like, you need money to stay for your rent and all that. But after studies, when you get a job, even during studies, you get a job. And you can use that to pay rent, your utilities and all that. But trust me, when you're coming, have enough funds on you. Don't come thinking that there is money on the floor for you to no, pick Canada, up. Yeah. I have have you. enough when you're on scared. you. So that when you start and then things are not picking up, you can at least sort yourself out. Excellent. So yeah, prepare before coming. Don't just stand up and come. Yeah. Please, did you hear that? She said prepare before coming. But you were talking about jobs during school and all that. Yeah. So it means that as a student, you, you can work. Yeah, I worked. Okay. I went um, since October. I came in September. I got a job in um, October, the next one. And I worked till I completed. Oh, okay. And after school, I got a full time job. So yeah. Oh, excellent. After school, she had a full time job. Yeah. What for Nika? So when I started school in September, I started working in October. I got a job in October. And I worked till I completed in April. And then after school, I got I got even two full time jobs. Jeez. And yeah, I'm okay. I'm That's kind of well. yeah. So like, if somebody's you know working as a student, usually how much do they pay the students? And what kind of jobs can you even do as a student here in Canada? Okay, so when you're a student, you can pick up part time jobs. You can do like previously it was like 20 hours, and then it was increased to 40 hours a week. Whoa. And it was quite good because you are paid just like a Canadian working as a part time worker. It was good. You can pay your rent out of that. You can get money to pay your groceries and all that. So to me, it's very good. So do you advise somebody to depend on this money to pay his or her tuition or it's only good for living expenses? It's for living expenses. That's why I said you should prepare. Make sure you have enough for you. Get your school fees so that when you come and you're able to pay your fees, you can use the part-time job to be paying your rent, your utilities and all that. Any other bills you can pay for that. Yeah. Did you hear that? that? She said that. Some of the jobs that you can work, mm -hmm. you can be a shop attendant, mm -hmm. you can work in McDonald's, like Walmart, they employ part-time workers. You Walmart. can work here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can work in any shop. There yeah. are so many opportunities. So many jobs here. for students yeah. and even the care jobs too. You can, exactly, you can yeah. And it pays well. Baseball. Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh, basically, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just say. But I mean, what she's trying to say is that you'll be comfortable. You'll be able to get a work. I yeah. mean, a job to do and all that. But do not depend solely. Say, I don't know. How the basic the field. No. Yeah, no. no. Please. No. And you don't know how to so no. Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy. But when you're done with school, trust me, the opportunities that will come at you is very good. It's and very with good. that money. Yeah, you can do all those projects you want to do in you your want to country. Do. Yeah. But when you are a student, no, you can't. Excellent. But, you know, so, so, like, I mean, so many people coming from Ghana, they don't just want to come to Canada to study. Most of them have, like, you know, dream to get their work permit, permanent residence and all that. Do you have any idea, like, how is the flow? You know, since you came to Canada, ha have you seen students who came here previously yeah. finally getting their permanent residence? Yeah. Or, you know, is it a place that is so shaky and no, all that? No, and it's possible. Because I have a colleague from my former workplace. He came here last year, that 2022. He completed his studies. He applied for the permanent residency and he got to yeah, the yeah, please take that again. So, a friend of mine, a former colleague from my workplace, he came here, went to school, and then after studies, he applied for his permanent residency, and he got it within one year. So, yes, and I'm, I'm currently doing mine. I've yeah. applied for my PNP, I've gotten my invitation, and Yo. currently in the process of getting mine too. So, yeah, it's possible. To Small, be. soonest, <laughs> she's, she's going to be a permanent resident of Canada. So what are you talking possible, about? Yeah. It's a country that gives opportunities to, I mean, yeah. students. Because some yeah. countries, if you go there and you finish even studying, you have to go back to your home country. That's true. So Canada is the place to be, yes. the Maple Land. Yeah. But usually, I don't know if you said it, but how much do they pay, like you know, student workers like Walmart and stuff like that? So um, for some places, you are paying minimum wage. That is um, fifteen thirty. Oh, fifteen dollars. Yeah. That's that's a lot of money, though. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, you pay rent, so. Yeah. I mean, it's still gonna come back to the same amount. Exactly. Somebody will tell me that you know, one hour you you're earning what's it called? One fifty. One fifty Ghana. But you know, no, you 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 <laughs> yeah, you're living yeah. here, so it's it's still you know gonna compensate. I but my good. last question: How did you find your accommodation? Oh, Walmart for the But anyway, how much do you pay for your accommodation? 
and you know or what's the general range for accommodation so accommodation you can get from some pay as low as 450 Ooh. you get 500 you get 700 yeah. you get 800 so depending on what you want if you want a one bedroom apartment you'll be looking around the 900 upwards if so want, like somebody who wants to be in a shared accommodation like you know, 500 so me, I mean, kind of okay. to, me, I'm like, I, I don't have money, I just want to be there, you yeah. know, like 500, 600, 700. Yeah, even 450, some get it. So oh, okay. it depends on what That's you awesome. want. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, we are so grateful. Like, I know you're doing a little bit of shopping. Yeah. In fact, I have to pay some of the uh, maintenance <laughs> for you. I also also took you, mommy. Yeah. But, I mean, we are. But we are for ready. Ready. I'm very happy yeah. that you're able to educate a few people. Yeah. And then, you know, hopefully somebody will take an advice that you just said okay. and apply to their, you know, their, their Canada journey life yeah. and all that. Yeah. Thank you guys. Watch out for the next episode. Bye. It's Travels by the Dead. <laughs> you know, we never cry. You know what? I'm just going to leave her to do her shopping. You know, she's busy shopping. Oh, trying to be now. Oh, then you have reunion you my scar back. You know, but I'm just going to leave her to do her shopping. And then, you know, we're going to catch you guys on the flip side. All right, see you guys another time. It's Travels by the Dead. You know, we never play. Baba God, I thank you. Yeah, yeah. Boost, can't you One more with the moon grass and never. The Christian Empire, but we miss it. Make you seek for God in favor.